Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 4.4 centers of mass. 4.4 represents chapter 4, section 4 of the person A level mass applied mass here to textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Firstly, a rigid body is in equilibrium if two conditions are satisfied. Condition number one, resultant force vertically is equal to zero. Condition number two, sum of clockwise moment is equal sum of anti-clockwise moment. Now the moment of a force is given by force multiplied by the perpendicular distance. The unit that we use for the moment of a force is Newton meter. In this teaching video, we're going to be looking at a non-uniform body. If a rod is non-uniform, the center of mass is not necessarily at the midpoint of the rod. These are the key facts of 4.4 centers of mass. I'll be implementing these key facts within exam style questions. Let's have a look at exam style question one. A non-uniform rod AB is three meters long and has weight 20 newtons. It is in horizontal position resting on supports at point C and D where A to C is equal one meter and A to D is equal 2.5 meter. The magnitude of the reaction at C is three times the magnitude of the reaction at D. Find the distance of the center of mass of the rod from A. Ladies and gents, I'm going to start by drawing the non-uniform rod AB, labeling all the forces acting on the rod. So here is my non-uniform rod AB. It is resting on two supports positioned at C and D. So the distance A to C is one meter. So C will be somewhere over here. That is one meter. The distance A to D is 2.5 meter. So D will be somewhere over here. The distance A to D is 2.5 meter. So 2.5 take away one will give us this gap, which is 1.5 meter. Now this non-uniform rod AB is resting on the supports. Hence the supports will exert a normal reaction on the rod. Here is my first normal reaction. Here is my second normal reaction. It is given that the magnitude of the reaction at C has to be three times the magnitude of the reaction at D. So at D we can call the reaction R Hence, the reaction at C has to be 3R. The weight of the non-uniform rod is 20 newtons. So we can label that 20 newtons anywhere on the diagram. Okay, so for now, what I'll do is I'll just label it over here, 20 newtons. I'll call this point D. We want to find the distance of the center of mass of the rod from A. So that distance, we can call it X. This is my complete force diagram. Now I'm going to start by working out R. To work out R, we have to use condition number one of equilibrium. Resultant force vertically is equal to zero. So we're going to resolve vertically, taking upwards to be the positive direction. We know that F is equal zero. So we've got three R plus R minus 20 equal zero. So 4R is equal 20, hence R is equal 20 divided by 5, which is 5 newtons. So we've got 5 newtons here, and we've got 3 times 5, 15 newtons over here. Now we can work out the distance of the center of mass of the rod from A. In other words, we can work out X by using condition number 2 of equilibrium. Sum of clockwise moment is equal sum of anti-clockwise moment. So we have that sum of clockwise moment is equal sum of anti-clockwise moment. We are going to take moments about A because we're trying to work out the distance of the center of mass from A. So take moments about A. Okay, so we're calculating the moments of three forces, the 20, the 15 and the 5. Now if I hold my pen at the point A and I apply this force, it will take the entire body anti-clockwise. If I apply this force, it will take the entire body anti-clockwise. On the other hand, if I apply the 20 Newton force, it will take the entire body clockwise. Let's start by calculating the clockwise moment. In other words, the moment of the 20 Newton force. So that would be the force itself 20 multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the point A to the force, which is x in this scenario, 20 times x equal. Now let's calculate the total anti-clockwise moment, starting off with this moment over here, the moment of the 50 Newton force. So we have the force itself 15 multiplied by the perpendicular distance from A to that force, which is one. Plus, let's calculate the moment of this force, 
So it will be the force itself, which is 5, multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the point A to that force, which is 2.5. Okay, so I've got 20x equal 27.5. I can make x the subject. So x is equal 27.5 divided by 20, hence x is equal 1.375. Therefore, the distance of the center of mass of the rod from A is 1.375 meter. This completes exam style question 1. Moving on to exam style question 2. A non-uniform rod AB of length 25 meter and weight 80 newtons rests horizontally in equilibrium on support C and D as shown in the diagram. The center of mass of the rod is 10 meters from A. A particle of weight W newtons is attached to the rod at a point E where E is X meters from A. The rod remains in equilibrium and the magnitude of the reaction at C is 5 times the magnitude of the reaction at D. Show that W is equal to 400 over 25 minus 3X. Firstly, I'm going to label all the forces acting in this particular scenario. So we know that the magnitude of the reaction at C is 5 times the magnitude of the reaction at D. Suppose the reaction at D is R. So the reaction at C is going to be 5R. A particle of weight W newtons is attached to the rod at a point E where E is X meters from A. Suppose this is the point E. The weight is W and the point E is X meters from A. The center of mass of the rod is 10 meters from A. So let's call this the point F and that there's a center of mass. The weight is 80 newtons. So we have a distance of 10 meters from A. Now this total length AB is 25 meter. 25 take away 5 is 20 so this distance over here from A to the reaction force R is going to be 25 take away 5 which is 20 meter. This is my complete force diagram. I want to show that W is equal to this fraction. Firstly, I'm going to use condition 1 of equilibrium. So we're going to resolve vertically, and we know that the resultant force F is equal 0. So we've got 5R plus R, which is 6R, minus 80 minus W. This must equal 0. So now I can make R the subject. So 6R is equal 80 plus W, hence R is equal 80 plus W divided by 6, equation 1. Now I'm going to use condition 2 of equilibrium. Sum of clockwise moment is equal sum of anti-clockwise moment. So we have sum of clockwise moment is equal sum of anti-clockwise moment. For simplicity, we're going to take moments about the point A. So take moments about A. We are calculating the moments of one, two, three, four different forces. If I hold on to the point A, these two forces will take the entire body clockwise. Let's calculate the total clockwise moment. Let's start with the 80 Newton force. We've got 80 multiplied by the perpendicular distance from A to that force which is 10. Plus, let's calculate the moment of the W Newton force. That will be W multiplied by the perpendicular distance from A to that force, which is X, equal the total anti-clockwise moment. So if I hold on to the point A, these two forces will take the entire body anti-clockwise. Let's calculate the total anti-clockwise moment, starting off with the 5R. So we've got 5R force multiplied by the perpendicular distance from A to that force, which is 6, plus the R force, multiplied by the perpendicular distance from A to that R force, which is 20. Okay, so I'm going to use a bit of algebra now. So I've got 800 plus Wx is equal 5R times 6, which is 30R, plus R times 20, which is 20R. So we've got 800 plus Wx is equal 50R. Equation 2. 
Now I can substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So I've got 800 plus Wx is equal 50 lots of the normal reaction, 80 plus W over 6. So I can expand this. So 800 plus Wx is equal 4000 plus 50 W over 6. We can multiply the entire equation by 6. So that there becomes 4800 plus that becomes 6 Wx is equal 4000 plus 50 W. So I can collect the W's together. So I've got 6 Wx minus 50 W is equal, collect the constants together. 4000 take away 4800 is minus 800. I can take out a factor of W. So I've got 6x minus 50 inside the bracket and W outside equal to minus 800. So we have that W is equal to minus 800 over 6x minus 50. We want to show that this is the same as this. Okay, so we've got W equal minus 800 over, we can take out a common factor of minus 2. So inside the bracket, we're going to have 25 minus 3x. So the two negatives cancel, 2 goes into itself once and 2 goes into 800, 400 times. So we're left with W equal 400 over 25 minus 3x as required. This completes exam style question 2 in this teaching video 4.4 centers of mass. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.